Uh, it's a clean sweep here on the desk. It's newbie all the way, according to our experts. But of course, this is a best of three, so anything can happen. But game one is about to begin. Kark is going to try and harass mid one, but it's it's both supports waiting for their opportunity. Bottom lane, Fada going to be attacked in. Remember, he went for the trees to start with, so he's got no TP out of this one. KP and Faith going to work together. The mid lane's being initiated on in the meantime. SEC really loves the race for first blood, and Fada, he'll end up going down with the fissure, creating the space in mid, denying Team Secret. Not only just the revenge kill, but that first blood that they wanted. It's probably flaming. Kaka or Flame of Faith. Why didn't he lift him up early? He would have gotten cancelled if he had to cancel the yeah. charge. Well, that was meant to be the big thing about Arubic, right? Like, is that instant grab on, yeah. onto the Spirit Breaker. So, there's multiple counters we talked about previously. Fada now on the run. The Gale from KP has connected as Kaka. He'll trace him into the trees. Mid lane is initiating in. SECC losing a lot of life. Faith, not enough mana to actually control up anymore. Use both Telekinetas as well. KB's not even the heavy damager. Like, he went for a 1 1 3 build instead. So, Gale as well as Sting isn't really that threatening. As, uh, well, okay. That uh, seems a little easier when Wrath of Nature is able to kick through and find the damage onto the Venomancer. Newbie looking for their own rotation into one of the most farmed heroes on Team Secret. Ace on the top lane. He's up a long way, reveals himself, and SCCC can tank up the tower when they go for this initial movement. It's exactly what happens, and that's a level 6 as well. The Reaper Scythe is prepared. They need the damage to come in. Puppy with the charge creates a space. Fast gonna arrive too. Mid one turning on that Nova. How much damage can he do? The Scythe will fall, but Mid one will tank it through, and it's actually gonna be Kaka, the first one to fall. Faith caught on the steps of the Cathedral. A secret will move forward looking for another target, but Nubia are already bailing out this one. This did not work. Wait to see all the anti mages coming back again as, as Team Secret try and bring Lashrak back into the meta. Karka looking for the Fissure, able to connect over on Ace, charge forward again. Puppy the right place, wheeling back KP and Faith with that charge forward, but Mugi into the fight. They're bringing in that Weaver, but Wrath of Nature. Karka has to be sacrificed once again. Fan is here. Everybody is here apart from Lashrak. So Mugi goes for something he can kill, and that's going to be a courier. The Gemnet attack will allow him to get it, or actually will it? No, that courier ended up surviving. It backed all the way out as mm -hmm. KP died once more. Wow, I thought he had a Germinate on it. Yeah, it, it, there was the two attacks flying through the air. Hmm, not sure what happened. Yeah, no, neither am I. Big, big dot uh, damage. It's one of the best items versus Necrophos too, because Necrophos is still built BKB. Oh, swap, charge in, and this is a very quick kill on Kaka. It's Fissure to Telekinesis That's is going to be it. That's so underwhelming. Oh, they're going to find Puppy, Ace, and Mid-1. Everything they did not want to find. The Fissure cancelling the charge through. Puppy on the wrong side of that Fissure again. And Mugi wants to attack through the front. Has a time lapse out. Realizing just how much damage that Pulse plus Edict of Mid-1 does. SCCC trapped up inside. Off the Sprout, Fada in the back lines. Moogie's playing with him as Puppy just wants to go in deep. KP forced to ulti. He's ticking down at the moment to all the trees that's there with a the bouncing Feybot. Moogie shakooching through Yapsaw. They finally get rid of that mass sustain and they steal the extra stun. Magic missile into Ace. The Scythe will execute him. Exactly what Newbie won. Team Secret, they thought they had the power for the fight, but they thought wrong. But those two great fissures and a fortuitous Invis rune. That's two-thirds of his blink dagger right there. Oh, they're back into Roshan. Now Team Secret, Echo Slam and Scythe are both down. Prophet can buy back if they want to take the fight. The charge forward goes towards Mugi. KP, oh, this is throwing a spanner in the works from Team Secret. With the Plague Lords going down, a nice double Fissure. Ends up actually stealing the Pulse. They want to get closer, but relocate? Just pulling Ace back out to safety, so Relocate falls. And Newbie, are they actually going to try and do this? It's a dangerous choice, but they're going in after Roshan. Team Secret see a lot as Puppy charges forward, pushing back to The Nova is nice from KP, but is the Nova better from Lashrak? No, it's not. Newbie will survive. Fada bought back into the fight with that silence. He's going to end up killing off that Rubik Faith. He'll actually end up ticking from Puppy being right behind him as well. As Newbie losing way too many heroes. It's all up to SCCC, who's forced after himself back up to the high ground but he got Roche he and did Aegis. that is sick <laughs> he That's a sprinter right there. he went for a way less farm oriented build too this is a way more team fight build with the helm into the lance uh you'll see oh, newbie have to come back mid one's ready to attack so kp just trying to force the lane probably not expecting team secret to defend in such a manner 
And now it's up to Newbie to try and get that catch out up on the top. So Fada will be it. The relocate is pulling in mid one, but the scythe is already killed off Fada down for a very long time. You've stolen the edict once again. So Yapsaw low on life. Four seconds before he'll be out of this one. Three seconds, two seconds, one, and he's out. But the damage is still there from Secret. Like you, you lose Yapsaw, but SEC, the four stuff, it gets him away from the follow up stun. He has to go shroud. Wand, he's got his death pulse back up again too. Need to survive as he's so close to having that Radiance up and running. But now is the Rubik. Faith being initiated. He's going to pick up Puppy. Toss him away. But the top pressure is still on. They're coming in. They take the Tier 3 tower and Team Secret. They've opened up a window as they push the top lane. So this was a very, a very classic maneuver. You see the NP top. Um, and then because of that... They have to react to that and then they gank bottom, but then Secret make the next level move of relocating top to a system in droves. And that was a very easy T3 from the blocking that is going to be so key, especially if one of your teammates get a Oh, Kaka, able to get that initial stun, then blinks down, out, and the Scythe will find the kill. So Puppy will fall. They're looking for a secondary one. Hitting the Gale into ace means there's a good follow-up. He'll swap <laughs> back up for the relocate. He brought himself in range of the IO. So Newbie get denied the one position they wanted to kill off. Fata said a creep skipper, so this push from Newbie will be difficult to sustain. In fact, impossible. They don't have a creep wave. They will get the IO, but they still don't have the creep wave, so they can't push the tower. That's why Fata already down the bottom with the trees attacking into the tier two. And Moogie can choose if he wants to deny or not. Yep, he has to go BKB next. Or get too much trouble and too much magic damage coming out from Lash. Is Fadon's going to snipe the tower? Is he sniping the... Yeah, they're coming into bottom. BT forward, there's your there's your Orchid. Follow-up stun, should be able to control up Mugi And Kaka, he looks at it. You know, you, you take that, if you're a secret. You're in a pretty good position now. Just need to use this Aegis to get a Rax and you'll the be fine. The observed are a lot. Face right behind him, a quick Orchid. They forced up, but the sprout from Fada was after the forced up was done. So the pickup and throwback from Faith, he makes himself target number one. The Wrath of Nature hitting hard into SCCC. He's forced to go Shroud. The stun from mid one, he's coming in close. The Amplification's doing his work. The Echo Slam, minimal effectiveness, but at least the stun will do it. Fada locked down and brought down Kaka. He can't survive for this, however. Mid one is just so big with his own BKB. He's able to do so much damage. Yapsaw will be the sacrificial lamb as Moogie finds himself a double kill out of this fight. I mean, I was farmed. You can tell Yapsor plays these farming supports a lot. And he's, it kind of translates to his IO play, having Greaves already. It's a little absurd that he has Greaves. So now that he has Greaves, he can just Greaves out of the Diffusal Purge. Oh, nice swap. Very quick. Onto the ES. Uh -oh. You do actually steal the Nether Swap into Faith. So they have that as initiation now, but no ES of 44 seconds. <sighs> they don't really and his Echo fight. just came off cooldown too. This is not great for them. They don't want to fight because Necrophus doesn't have buyback, nor does he have BKB, but Secret are going to force the issue. Oh, mid one tries to go up. Heavy damage into the tower. There's no swap from Faith. As you said, they're not going to try and force that engagement. But Fada, he had the Treant in through the top, but now is looking to pressure in the bottom lane. And he's down there with Ace. In fact, that's exactly what Secret are doing. They're playing musical lanes at the moment. Just bounce from one to the other and then see which one you can land on before the music stops. The music is going to stop right now for the poor little Rubik. Or maybe not. He glimmers and pushes himself out. The scythe, it doesn't kill off mid one. KP, finally the Nova will be able to have a bit of an effect. But Ace swaps him straight back into his own death. It is a cluster buck inside the base of Newbie. Fighter wants to run away. He is gunked up, hidden inside the sprout. The charge from Puppy Crease. Just enough space for him to TP out and regenerate back in his own trying. This is exactly what Secret want. They still haven't lost anything big. Puppy in the trees is an acceptable loss. Echo Slam a little bit further forward. They find their initiation but the damage, it was more control allowing Newbie now to move back to the front lines and give more space for Moogie to do some damage. The pick up and throw back is there from Faith. Mid one however he turns on the pulse once more that spill damage with the Orchid. Moogie can't get out. Trapped in the trees with no push available. SC wants more and he needs more. The death pulse, the damage. Fata can not be allowed to escape a second time. He can buy back if he wants to. As SCCC, he is just outnumbered. Fada's coming back. The Ghost Shroud's letting him live as the Absor taunts him in the tree line. Nuvi, they will lose everything. The second time Necro has died, Mugi as well as Faith will have to buy back. They know if they lose this lane of Rax, they're crippled beyond repair. 
And with this game, you can safely conclude that Yapsor can play Wisp well. That's decent enough. Someone push KP out of there. Okay, Glimmer Cape. They'll hide him with that, but then the charge is coming from Puppy. They see him perfectly. Faith have to pick him up and throw him back down again. Farter, the BKB protects him. They still won KP. They want these cores down. Moogie, he can't even bring in the damage. Faith trying to escape, able to do so. Glimmer Cape protected back to his own fountain, but they call it. Newbie realized that resistance is futile. Team Secret will take game one in this best of three series. That long, drawn-out fight, there was a ton of great individual play. Obvi the obvious one was Speed of Breaker saving the Nature's Prophet, but also SCCC, he actually almost won that fight with the Reaper on mid-1 before he got his beat.